Howdy, everybody. In the glass today is the Bonal Aperitif Wine from France. This particular one was basically a, let's go with a elixir, a tonic of its time. Basically what they did was they took a base wine, they added a little bit of herbs and stuff to it, a gentane as well as quina, and then kind of went from there. As you can see on the label, it is a key because it was known as the key to the appetite, though believe me, it sounds much better in French. Bonal was an early champion for the Tour de France, and it, it was kind of known as the huntsman drink or the sportsman's drink. For us, Bonal is one of those wonderful bottlings that has a little bit of spice and herbs, and there's something just a little bit green about it. But as a result, it works out really well with scotch whiskey bases, uh, as well as rye, and anything that also will pick up some of those green notes coming through. This also, I think, would work out quite well with an Amaro for a dignified take on a Manhattan on that set. Let's give it a try. In the nose, you do get a little bit of an herbaceous quality. You do get the um, kind of floral component as well as that bitter edge of quinine. But there's also a little bit of like a, a earth and bark tone coming through. On the palate, the initial impression is sweet, but then that's immediately balanced by a, a little bitter spice from the, the gentane as well as quinine. Gentane is a alpine herb that we see also in Genepe as well as chartreuse and a couple other things and a balance of sweet as well as spice and bitter in just a really nice kind of combination. I find this is wonderful by itself and kind of wake up the palate before I go through dinner. Uh, but I think this is also one of those wines that would work out really well with again, rye or scotch cocktails. So try this with a modified Manhattan and see how it goes. Enjoy.